everybody, and welcome to a new Path of Exile video with me, your host, Nyx. Today, we're going to be having a look at Incursion, the Incursion League that released in 2018 with Alva and the Temple. Now we're going back in time, and it's exciting. As you can guess, I've just watched the video, the trailer with the developer commentary about this league, and I'm looking forward to discovering it, to figuring out what it's all about. I heard it's not easy. I mean, it didn't look easy in the trailer either in terms of understanding it. So yeah, I'm curious. Let's uh, let's try and figure this out. But first, where is my boy? There he is. Say hello, Frank. He's shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. First things first, I can force an area to contain incursions thanks to this, right? So what I'll do is I'm going to pick a map. I've got a few, right? So why don't I do one of these? Reflections? No, thanks. Reflect again? No, thanks. Can I get one that doesn't reflect? Would that be okay? Let's see. 40% monster physical damage reduction. Yeah, there you go. There, There's one that I could go for. So it's a red. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, let's just go for it and see what it's all about. I'm just fresh off finishing the misery gauntlet. So it's been a while since I've played this character. Good thing it's not the most complicated character. So, introduction. I am the great Alva Valai. So I believe we're gonna go back in the past. So we've got this temple, the entrance is here, and I have 11 incursions to finish it, to complete it, and then I'll go into this temple, but in the present. So whatever I do in the past, based on what the trailer told me, will impact the present. I'm telling you, these guys at GGG, they got crazy minds. So the pits is the next one, and this is a map of it. There's an architect, kill to change to pools of restoration. Oh, or I could kill this architect to change change to jeweler's workshop okay which one's better i guess in any case we also have these locked doors and if i'm able to unlock these doors we'll be able to travel to one of these three poison garden halls or the entrance i guess and why are these connected this way i wonder they got some kind of fancy connection no idea all right let's try and go to the halls let's -a go all right i remember this so you have to kill as many as you can as fast as you can to get more seconds on the clock Oh, so this is one of the architects. So I've stumbled upon it, so I guess I'll kill him. All right, done. Oh, three seconds, three seconds. Okay, I've completed it. And I got a scarab for my troubles. So, view temple. Oh, I changed the other room to a jeweler's workshop. What's that about? So I can change the halls into explosives room or royal meeting room. And at this time, I can go to this door to the poison garden. What's that about? The good thing is that these maps are quite simple. Oh, you need to kill all the monsters. Okay, this is this door is open. That's a good thing. I don't need to do anything about it, apparently. All right, three more seconds. Wow, you really need to go so fast. Come on. Three, 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 zero. Oh, man. It's very hard to complete, isn't it? So now it's become a royal meeting room. Okay. Oh, she's here again. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta finish this essence first, and then we'll jump in. Yeah, I love essences. Essences are like the thing I know I can farm, and that like it's worth my time, and I'm not gonna get yelled at on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, Alva. So now we're at the Shrine of Empowerment. So we've kind of like skipped a few steps here. So I can kill the Architect of the Nexus to change this to a Flame Workshop. Or I could do this and I can kill the Architect of the Forge to upgrade to Sanctum of Unity. So you can upgrade rooms also. It's not also only change, it's also upgrade. Okay, let me have a look and find Puhu, Hu Arte, whatever his name is. Five seconds. Or is it three? No, four, four, four. Okay, kill them. Perfect. Three. Oh, Stone of Passage, that's good. I have to get to another room real quick. That way I can put the stone in. Yes, I've unlocked a door, that's good, right? Oh, Time Portal. Oh, no, not a good job. I've just set myself back in time. So I've upgraded the room to a tier three now. Increases the speed of monsters throughout the temple, right? So they also give buffs to the temple we're gonna jump into later on. I love this kind of idea that you're planning something out. That's kind of cool. I mean, is there, what are the chances that she's here multiple times? Oh, she's here another time, see? Now we're in the chasm. And I think this is more of a straightforward one. Just kill everybody. Sounds good. Stone of Passage. So you have to kind of remember where the passages are. 16 seconds, come on. Put the stone in. I think I might complete this one. Where is the last one? Ah! <laughs> so now I've upgraded. Well, I've changed the room to something else. Interesting. Oh, Sacred Grove. Okay, let's finish this map so I can get back to the temple and all that. And there we have it. Map complete. Back home we go. Let me just sell this six link that I dropped. Hell yeah. All right, so I need another map this time. Another sepulcher, right? Potentially. Let's go. So we're back at the jeweler's workshop, funny enough. So is this random? And I need to upgrade it. Or I could change it again to an armorer's workshop. No, I think I'll go for the, I'll go for the upgrade. Jump in straight, straight away. Try to get as many seconds as possible. Kill the boss. Easy. And I need to complete the map. 
Nearly there. Stone of passage. Take it. Six seconds. This must be the last pack. This has got to be it, right? I've done it. I'm finished. No? What's happening? <laughs> Why is nothing happening? I got a quicksilver flask? I mean, okay. What else? So now it's level three. Increases the rarity of items dropped in the temple. Contains chests full of jewelry. Okay. So I guess you're kind of building towards this really incredible temple that you'll get at the end. But for now, nothing. Also, I just realized that the stone I picked up, the green one, dropped when I uh, left the temple at the end there. So that means you need to use your stones ASAP. Stone of passage. How did I do on the boss up here? Did I kill him? I didn't even realize. Oh, two seconds? No. That's not great, is it? Well, I've upgraded to a defense research lab, and now the monsters have increased area of effect, but it contains a valuable item. How about that? Okay. Another Alva. You have to make sure you clear the map first. Kill this architect to upgrade the room to Cultivar Chamber. So it must be better always to upgrade, right? Let's check it out. Okay, there's the boss. Get the Stone of Passage. Two seconds, one second, zero second. I'm kill. I'm, I don't know why. I mean, I am DPSing. It's getting harder and harder. Maybe the point is not to finish it. Maybe that's the hardest thing you can do. So I can see some doors are open, like the entrance. Okay, this makes a lot of sense now. I need to connect the glittering halls. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to access it, right? This one. There's a lack of reward right now, but I'm sure that'll change. There you go. Upgrade and then just run around. Stone of passage. Let's go use that. Gotta go fast, boy. 12 seconds, we're doing good, we're doing good. Monstrous kills, looking good. Three seconds, two seconds, two seconds. One second, zero, two seconds. I don't know where the last one is. Ah, oh, that's gotta be that. Oh, it's not bad, it still gets stuff. Wow, got a lot of stuff actually. Jewelry's orb, transmutation. Yeah, okay, you did an epic. So the guardhouse has been upgraded to barracks and I've opened the way to treasury. That's perfect. Okay, I'm starting to get it, I think. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I like scarabs and uh, scarabs like me. I do love a good scarab, to be fair. One map down, a million more to go. This one, the Mesa map, can I even change it? Because it's corrupted. Have a look. I would like to change you. I got 90 orbs of horizon. How did that happen? All uh, right, so I cannot change it no matter what. Okay, so Mesa map seems fine. Monsters have... 40% more life. That could be a pain in the in the bum, but let's find out. First, Temple of Adsoal. They didn't choose the easiest name, did they? Alva. Sorry, let me kill the guys around you and we can get started. So we're in the cellar now. I don't feel the need to open any doors because all the doors are already kind of open already, so no point. Uh, I can change it to a sacrificial chamber or I can change it to a strong box chamber. I think strong box is something I know more of, so probably go for that. How fast can we go? There's definitely more life on it on these guys and they are juiced up because of the temple because of the wildwood which is incredible incredibly terrifying keep going three seconds to zero seconds nobody in this room oh is it a good job didn't feel like a good job Ugh. well at least we got a strong box chamber now that's the main point right the sacred grove Oh, the bleed, the bleed. Always the bleed. It's always the bleed. I need better resistance to bleed. I really do. Oh yeah, the bleed stacks. Why am I why am I fighting these guys if I keep bleeding? I'm an idiot. Maybe I should get myself a flask just for the bleeding. Because I'm bleeding all of my experience for no good reason. So there she is. Hello, Alva. I'm keen on jumping back into your forbidden temple. Oh, we even have some Eldric stuff. Steering Exarch stuff to look at. Enter incursion. Yeah, I didn't have a time to really have a look, but kill the boss and all that. Eight seconds. Come on, let's go, let's go. Stone of Passage, maybe I can open another door. Not that it's really necessary, but... Oh, one second. Oh, yeah, just two seconds. This is really tight. It's fun. One second. I'm still in the game, baby. Four seconds. Well, if he jumps around, how am I supposed to kill him? <laughs> so now we go into the treasury, and we can change it to a storage room, or I can upgrade it to Wealth of the Veil. That's going to be worth something. Let's do it. I really need to do that. Oh, the damage, the damage. Come on, focus on this one. Focus on this one. Yes, I did it. What is it with the damage here? Incredible. Anybody else? 10 seconds, nine seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two seconds, one second. Oh, I didn't make it. That's okay, I was just about to die. <laughs> All right, so now that that's done, how does it work now? The location of the temple is now clear. Make sure you've got enough supplies. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Enter temple. Ooh, it's like a map inside a map. That's actually a bit trippy. Oh man, I'm getting some like colonial vibes, Spanish Inquisition, Inquisitor. Eh, maybe that's not the right word. Portuguese adventurers in Aztec lands, spreading the plague as they did back then, bringing the common cold over. <laughs> so what's the deal here? What am I supposed to be doing? I'm going to guess find the temple. Ooh, what's this? Temple map. I get to check that out. These guys are dropping stuff. Temple map. It's all here. Okay. Into the entrance I go. So I'm guessing there's a lot of loot here. Like a lot. Keep going. Keep going. Where are we going off to now? The Toxic Grove, of course. 
Anything here? I can't go this way, which must be the way to the glittering halls, of course. It's good that they give you a bit of a tease, like you can actually see through the wall. That's kind of fun. But like, you messed up. You have to live with the consequences of your inactions. Grow vessel. Ooh, there we go. I've never seen these before. What is, what's so great about them? Let's have a look. I don't know. They just seem to have a lot of things. I really got to keep my eyes out for my eyes peeled for more of these vessels that I can open. They seem to be the things I really need. Find them, get the loot. Ooh, ah. At least it's giving me maps. I do need more of those. Oh, we're in the sparring room. We're already that high. I didn't realize. This has got to be like the top of the temple. Apex of Astolol. Sure. Ooh, look at that. Unique mechanics. It's a tank. I'm fighting a tank. Oh, that's fun. That is super fun. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna put a, one of these down. There you go. What? It's got Bluetooth. <laughs> Bluetooth barriers or whatever. Okay, I gotta kill the minions. There's always minions in the boss fight. It's the rule. It's the law. I'm taking a lot of damage. If I'm not careful, as you've seen. Oh my goodness. You gotta let the Bob Listers do their job. I hope Frank's on it too. I can't see him. There we go. Done. I was expecting a lot more. Yeah, got some elites. Open all these packs of monsters. Let's go. <laughs> Enkindling orb. Alchemy alteration. I'll know that. Yep. So what was that last one? Oh, it's an enchantment to a utility flask that will improve it, but prevent it from gaining charges. Oh, that's a bit weird. Prevent it from gaining charges during its effects. That's really specific. Am I missing something? Where's all the loot? Ah, treasury room. There you go. There should be something here. There we go. Stone coffer. That's got to be helpful. First, kill the architect, of course. Ah, somewhat. Anything else? Ah, there we go. Stone coffer. Whoa. Ah, that feels good. It feels good to open boxes. I'm happy I came back. We're refusing. Yeah, so these are all stuff that I would need in general. Nothing that crazy. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Some cards. I really need to check the cards. I've got quite a few of these cards. Oh, contract mansion. Yes, sure. Whatever that is. Oh, I think I'm supposed to. Ah, aha, okay. Now I'm getting somewhere. I have to destroy these plants and then the enemies that come out of those plants are worth a lot, where they have a lot of stuff on them anyway. That's what I'm guessing. Another room I've never been to. Which one is this? Defense research. Well, there's a lot of traps here, I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, a bunch of traps. Wow, 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 wow. I used to see this kind of stuff on YouTube, like this kind of footage of a Path of Exile and be like, this seems like a bit much. And you know what? I was 100% right. <laughs> this is a lot. Where are we now? The engineering department. I think this is our last room. Another architect to kill. I think that's it, right? This is the entrance. And yeah, I've been here before. Map. I've dropped a lot of stuff. That's for sure. Quite diverse too. It doesn't seem like we're farming one specific thing. I wonder if that's even doable. Off we go. And now we have to finish the map we were in, surely. Yep, there it is. Okay, let me finish this map real quick. Oh, Oak the Mighty. I fought him in, in hardcore and he wouldn't die. He just wouldn't die. I'm trying to change that now. There we go. He did. Map level 16. Okay, we're getting some stuff. We're getting some stuff. I like it. Grab the rings. Oh my goodness. There's a lot to go through here. <laughs> All right. So back to this. This is worth one chaos also. It's a shame. It might be time also for me to have a quick look at the good old Atlas passive tree to start boosting this up. I've already put a few points in, but I haven't covered it in this video. Let me just put everything in the bag first and then we'll have a look. And there you have it. Okay. So that was a lot of stuff, including a lot of divination, actually. Do I have any full stacks? Oh, I have a few. Orbs of fusing, chaos orbs, unmaking orbs, alteration orbs. No idea. God, it's so smart to have a size slider on this. Ugh. Anyway. Oh, there you go. Improves the quality of strongbox. Engineering orb. Huh, how about that? So, passive skill tree. Let's have a look. So I definitely want to put a few points into... Oh, there you go. Incursion. This doesn't seem great. How about over here? Yeah, that's pretty good. Incursions is your map contain a Val Flesh Merchant. I've got that. Your maps will, with incursions always have four incursions. Okay, that's why there's so many of her. And over here we have Killing Resident Architects and your map adds their upgrade tier to the Surviving Architects room. That's sick. And then killing non-resident architects in your maps have 40% chance to add an additional upgrade tier to the surviving architect's room. That's so smart. So you should actually go for the, the architect that you from potentially don't want to kill? Wow. Incursions in your map have 33% chance for all monsters to be at least magic time gained from kills is doubled for incursions. Oh, yes, please. Uh, how many points do I need? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I need five. I got two. I guess we'll go back on the harvest a bit here too, potentially. Mm, the crafting stuff. So that's three. So that's five points. Perfect. So now one, two, three, four, five. 
Yes, that should make stuff a little easier. Now, something I want to try now that I've that I get a good understanding of it is what if we had a quick look at what Max Roll tells me to do? Let's have a look. This guide assumes you have learned the basics of incursion, which I have. Profitability. Incursion's profitability is based on selling or running well itemized temple containing for the following accessible rooms. Of course, because we need the doors to be open. All of these are good. Out of the rooms above, sell any temple you create with the following rooms on them to other players prioritizing pricing the temple around the most expensive connected room on it. I could sell temples? Incursion can be run in any tier of map with the same opportunity to build and sell the highest value room. Okay, incursions can be accessed through the use of Alva's missions, of course. That I know. Incursion is a mechanic that is the strongest when players begin crafting and corrupting endgame gear. Why do you want to corrupt endgame gear? You should check the prices of temples containing locus of corruption. Ah, here's how to run. Clear the map normally, yes, until you encounter Alva, for sure. Talk to Alva and check both room options for the high value room option mentioned above, sure. Upgrade the current room if you can't and after slaying the architect clear the rest of the incursion and socket stones of passage that is huge actually the stones of passage i'll definitely be doing that if you finish early exit the incursion interesting repeat this for the remaining incursions on the map being sure not to miss any and then so apparently there's something called a locus of corruption which is a room which allows me to double corrupt any equipable item if the corruption yields a desirable result this method can create some of the most powerful items in the game temples with this room command the highest price that's interesting oh what about this the pig fa faced bassinus which is um an item that i needed for this build what if i corrupt that corrupts an item modifying it unpredictably okay let's have a look this one has increased armor maximum life increased life regeneration increased rarity of item founds. Let me do this. Oh, corrupt an item to have a new implicit mod. Okay, cool. Which one is the implicit? Oh yeah, corruption mod. I've just added increased effect of cold ailments. Not great, but okay. And of course I can't corrupt it twice. How oh, interesting. It seems like this, this whole thing is about, well, it's about creating the most powerful items in the game, right? Let's try and follow this incursion farming guide, which basically says, make sure you have these rooms. These are the most profitable rooms. Fair enough. Oh, and I got some tier 16 maps. How about that? Although I think I'll do a tier 14 just so I can finish the uh, the searing exarch obviously very important and yes please one of these temple of atsoel awesome let's go i need to find the king in the mist i need to finish this quest for goodness sake oh what's this guy oh the king in the mist here he is but it, of course i'm sure it's not his actual um yeah i need a stronghold guy sir oh he looks exactly like them he looks like the cosmetics and he's dead. And he dropped a ritual vessel. Stores the monster slain for the first time from a completed ritual archer for future use. Uh huh. We'll end at 1,500 over the purple. So hopefully we'll drop some cool stuff. Also, I need to find Alva. That looks fun. Hey, Alva. I really need to clear the people around her because these choices are super important. I need to know what I'm jumping into. Anybody else? So we are in the cloister. It's connected to nothing. Kill to change to splinter research lab or kill to change to surveyor study. <laughs> None of these are in the list of the things I need. Well, I'll just kill everything, I guess. Oh, lots of purple. Is that going to kill me? Nope. Still alive, baby. 28 seconds. Plenty of time. Yay. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Oh my goodness more maps for the map god the more maps i drop the less likely i'll get enough sleep tonight <laughs> So what just happened? I have this, the study. That's what I did. Right. I, I should have. No, you're right. I didn't do a good job there connecting, did I? Now, because of the points that I have, I'm always going to have four of, of Alva on all these maps. So I'll always be able to do four times per map, which is great. Keeps me from wasting my time. I nearly died there. It's okay. I dropped a map and an amulet and some portal scrolls. <laughs> Hi, Alva. What's this one? Upgrade to armory or change to tempest generator. Doesn't say anything to me. Monstrous throughout the temple have increased resistance. Contains chests full of armor. It's a bit naff but okay, sure, why not? Oh, Stone of Passage. 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, eight, okay. Staying with the eight. One second, no, that's it. Well, that's pretty good. A sextant, thanks. Okay, I have. I really need to connect some stuff around here. <laughs> I have 11 or 10 other choices, uh, other chances, sorry, so I'll be okay. Let us get out of here. Ooh, interesting, some corrupted essences. Shall I do them? Will I do them? Probably will. Haste aura temporarily revives and soul eater. Sure, what's the worst that can happen? Ah, yes. <laughs> Got two hours later. You better drop so many essences. Ugh. One eternity later. It's been about 20 minutes. Okay, anything cool here? Let's go. Come on. 
Yay! Oh, kill a monster that is under the influence of five influence mod. This was, I got an achievement. GG. Yes, yes. So where am I now? Pool of Restoration. I need to connect to the Royal Meeting Hall and the Banquet Hall if I can. Yeah, we're not too far from it. Um, So upgrade to Sanctum of Vitality, which is not on the list, or change to Strong chamber i do like a good strong box chamber i'll tell you that yeah i'm gonna go for the strong box chamber let's go all right then off we go stone passage so i need to remember where i said i would connect please tell me that this is adding xp it has to be worth something come on die 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 there we go one second left i haven't killed everybody let's go yes sextants so many sextants Ooh, an eldritch ember i hear those are good what does the eldritch ember do adds a lesser seeing or x art implicit modifier to a body armor so this is crafting stuff oof how am i supposed to know if i'm doing a good job with that well there you go see i've got these four that are connected but nothing else scary sacred grove let me just farm a bit okay now we're looking at the tombs and they can become sacrificial chambers or torment cells <laughs> lovely oh i'm an idiot i didn't realize ah uh, i need to upgrade certain names so that they become other names so for example a tier three sacrificial chamber is an apex of ascension Ugh, i'm a fool oh okay well there you go i need to change it to sacrificial now you know this is how you learn this is how you learn we all make mistakes sometimes Please, someone, could you please drop some kind of passage? Stone of passage, there it is. There we go, we're finished. And I can open the gem cutters workshop. Nice one. Get all my upgrades or whatever. Yes, gimme, gimme. Some maps, I'll take it. Now I get it. Sacrificial chamber is now level one and I need to get that to level three so it can become an apex of ascension. So smart. Okay, I need to spend more time thinking, you know? Something I never do against my rules. Wow, this guy's... Oh, is this the boss? Herald of Thunder, lovely. Come on, die, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep, okay, that was not the boss. I'm dead. Oh, the Herald of Ashes. That was the actual guy I was supposed to kill. Moving bosses, that's all we needed. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, nice one. Arena map and Eldric Ember. I will definitely use that. Let's pick another map. Shall we go for 15 this time? It would also be great to, to maybe modify them. There we go. Bramble Valley, love it. Anything else? Ivory Temple, there we go. Oh, I need to corrupt them. Boom, both corrupted. Okay, this is big boy pants mode now. I gotta make sure I'm ready for this one. All right, complete Alva's incursions, of course. And I need to juice. My name is Nick, I'm an, uh, I'm an addict. I'm addicted to juicing. I'm looking for blue juice. Blue juice anywhere, please, smart. No, just purple. Oh, careful. I'm gonna stay on the outpost, on the outskirts here of all this damage. Okay. Alva, what are we doing now? So it's all unlocked and this is the sacrificial chamber. So we can upgrade that to a hall of offering, which is right beneath Apex of Ascension. So let's do that. Whoa, the damage, watch out. Damn. I cannot die here, I cannot die. Stay on the outskirts. Nine seconds to kill this boss. I'm not gonna get that. Four seconds, kill some more mobs to get some time. Five seconds, no. Please, 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 please. No. Why do you juice your maps, Nyx? Why, why, why? Because I like to gamble. <laughs> So, kill to change to sparring room. So we're looking at the banquet hall right now. Banquet hall is not something I need, so I can change it to a sparring room? No, that's unfortunate. I'll still do it. Which one do I want? Oh, chest full of items, definitely the top one. Still alive, still alive, still alive, somehow, still alive. It's getting ridiculous. Wow. I'm not gonna juice the next map because these guys are so tanky. They don't need to be this tanky. Storage, click, click anywhere. There you go. Three seconds, two seconds, kill them. No, they're not dying, so I'm gone. Oh, so close. Now the banquet hall is a storage room. Level one though. This would be a better opportunity somehow. It's clear. Okay, what about now? So we're looking at an armory right now, which is not a room that's needed, or I can just upgrade it to a chamber of iron, which I think I'm gonna just do that. Okay, let's go and kill the boss. He's not dying, that's fine. I need to go open that door down at the bottom. Anybody else wants to die? <sighs> Just giving me some stuff I don't need. Level three chamber of iron isn't too bad though, I guess. We've got 30 seconds, which is good. With 30 seconds, I can definitely kill the architect. Would you just die? Come on, just drop a green. There you go, stone of passage. I don't think it's on the left that I should put it. It's more towards the right. So I'm gonna put it towards the right. No, 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 over here, I guess. Entrance, okay, that's a good one. Next to the entrance. Wow. Oh my goodness, Chaos Orbs, I'll take that. Orb of Alchemy, yes. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Orb of scour Scouring, I really need those. Uh, orb of re Regret, yes, please. I have much regret. Arena time. Oh, this is gonna be easier than I thought. Oh no, there's the phase two. <laughs> Let me just put down a portal, because I know myself. 
Right, there you go. Something tells me there's gonna be a third one of these guys, but yeah, sure. Oh, honest, what was that? What was that? What was that? Is he dead? I'm feeling the pressure now. Who am I supposed to kill? There's so many of them. Oh, all of them at the same time. Wow, this is a cool boss. Yeah, nice. Bramble Valley complete. Did I get anything cool? Not really. Just a ring, I guess. GG. All right, time for another level 15 map. I'm not gonna juice this one though. I'm not gonna juice it. Or maybe I don't juice it purple. Uh, I really want to though. What if this is the one? Okay, I'll just do the blue. If I see purple, I run away. Cause I feel like blue is where I'll find the king in the mist. Although I say that he was necessarily at the blue earlier on when I actually found him, but I didn't find his stronghold. So I'm still hoping. Oh, hi, primal huntress. See, this is what I need. Get away from me, monkey. Blue, blue, blue. What does blue do? Damage reduction. Have damage reduction? Um, boy. But they drop more currency, right? Blue, that's what I want. Currency is key. In this game i don't want more items i want currencies well that's that all right 900 not too bad see not too bad okay alva what are we doing so we have a lightning workshop i can increase it to an omnitech reactor plant which is level what oh that's level two so lightning workshop no, it doesn't seem to be a cool room for me to have. I guess I'll just level it up. Increase monster pack size. i rather do that. Let's change that up then. Let's go. These monsters are dying way faster than the previous map, so that feels good. He's not dying. He is not dying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. GG. Let me kill more things. Two seconds. One second. Come on, come on. You can do it. Yes. Nearly there. Kinda. Yeah, not bad. It's not bad. I could have done worse. Could have done better. So now it's just a le level two barracks. That's interesting. Did I see that correctly? Huh. You know how it's super addicting to do maps? Like you're always like, one more map before I go to bed is totally worth it. Uh, I feel like this is making things worse, the incursion, because you're like, one more incursion. That's like, what, four, three, four maps, and then I'll get an incursion and I'll get the temple. You gotta do it, you know? Anyway, so we're in tunnels now. Tunnels is the opportunity to connect treasury. Keep that in mind. I need to do it that way. Regardless, I need to connect, so let's do it. Please, these are dying fast, which gives gives me more seconds, more survivability. Eight seconds to do it? I can't do that. I need, I need more mobs. Don't let me fail, sensei. Stone of Passage. Yes, it's this way. It's this way. If anything, I need to open the treasury. There we go. That's done. Oh, oh I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just architect of the swarm. Why not? There we go. Good job, Exar. Thanks. Iron Mask. Do not need that. Anything else? Not, not that great, is it? So tunnels are now explosives room, which is fine because it connects us to the rest, which is good. Whoa, just a second. Clear this first. So, treasury is here. Kill to upgrade to Wealth of the Val. That's gotta be good, right? Wealth of the Veil. That is actually really good. That's on the guide. It says go for that one. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Let's do it. 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, what did you see that? I nearly died. That was really lucky. There you go. Kill the architect of toxins. Yay, level up. Perfect. GG. Five seconds, four seconds. I'm not gonna be able to kill him. Go kill some other things. I think that's it. Oh, that must have been the last one, right? Oh, no, there's one more. Okay, the wealth is good. We've done the wealth. That's a good one to do. So I've been told. So the good people at Max Roll have told me. All right, last one. It's the sacrificial chamber, which should become... Yeah, I can just upgrade it once. I wish I could have upgraded three times. That would have been better, but... You take what you can get. 21 seconds on the clock. 22. This is really good. There we go. Architect the forge. Boom. Activate, supercharge. You are dead. Perfect. Let's try and clear this room as much as we can. Oh, yeah. 45 seconds. This is working well. This one is working really well for me. 51 seconds. Wow, we've never seen that much time on the clock. Oh, there should still be a few mobs to kill. One more. There you go. Done. Cool. I can use the teleporter to come back. That's got to be worth something. Yay. A chisel? A map? Some scroll of wisdoms? I mean, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go into the temple. At least these guys drop stuff. All right, here we go. So let's refresh our memory a bit. We're in the entrance now. We need to go, the Wealth of the Veil is really important. So we're gonna have to go up the Wealth of the Veil, up through all these, clear all these, come back down. So it's a level three. So this is the best it can be. So let's clear it and then open all the stone coffers. See, see what we get. Hopefully some cool stuff. Oh, well, I've already opened one by mistake. Chaos Orb, Chromatic Orb, Fusing. Yeah, just good old currency. And here's the architects. All right, stone coffer. Sorry, I have to put myself in D and D. Sorry about that. So an orb of chance, an orb of binding. That's not very exciting. Five veil orbs. That is good. Oh, there we go. Awakened sextant. That's good. Yes. Stone coffer. Yep. Oh, there you go. Nothing more to it, really. Whoa. Oh, a flash powder keg. What is that? Have a look at it. This item can be used to destroy a wall connecting two chambers. That's so smart. So there are other ways. Oh, that is a smart move. I like that. What is that? <laughs> 
What is that color? What is it? Why is it? What? It has a galaxy behind it? What's that? No idea. What are these? The Shaper? I mean, okay, 34 Chaos is better than nothing. Zero matches for this. 20 Chaos, 35 Chaos. One Divine? Damn. Okay, that's gotta be worth something. That's got oh, a Divine, it seems. Yeah, I guess we're nothing really in there. Okay. What other rooms do we have to go to look forward to? Hall of Locks? <laughs> Oh, it's the strong box one, isn't it? There you go. Some strong boxes. Oh, let me open the other one. There we go. Whoa! Whoa! A bunch of maps. Okay, we're back in the entrance. At the entrance. And now we're in the barracks. So that's probably gonna be gear, which I don't really need. I'll take any six links I can get. Okay, so now we're jumping into Hall of Offering, is that correct? Yep. Oh, what's in the middle? So this is, okay, this is something I love, is that every room, if you upgrade it to a certain level, does have a bit of a quirk to it, like a unique thing. Like, what's in the middle here? Table of Sacrifice. What does it mean? Let's find out. This, of course, is the Room of Sacrifices, which I really wanted to level up to level three, but it didn't happen. Okay, here goes. Table of Sacrifice. Sacrifice a unique equipment for, for another random unique of the same item class. Interesting. So what if I picked up this quiver, for example, or this amulet? Oh, not really, unfortunately. Okay, so I can sacrifice it and I get another amulet from the same thing. Okay, that's kind of fun. I mean, is that useful? I don't know. This one is worth less. <laughs> so that is quite cool that you get all these orbs. It seems like there are, uh, sorry, all these rooms. It seems like there are mechanics that are only for those rooms. Corruption chamber. So the corruption chamber is what was what I needed to go to level six and that didn't happen, unfortunately. Level three, sorry. Move on. Orb of chance, always good. Kill the architect get nothing for it and move on there must be something about these architects right oh maps yes yes please all right time for the boss oh no give me another one please this one's hard oh let's open a yeah let's open one of these there you go open a portal and let the slaughtering begin when i mean slaughtering i mean myself Keep your eyes on the prize, because this guy does a lot of damage. Come on, nearly there, nearly there. Wait till my rage hits 50 so I can go into berserker mode. Woo! Stressed out so much, I turned caps lock, on. It's caps lock on. Jump above, jump above. Come on. There we go. String of servitude, heavy belt, and this cool amulet, which I should definitely know more about, but I don't. I'm trying to learn all these two fix, prefix. Oh, this is a new one, a new temple. All right, let me finish the map and see what we can go, what we can do from that. Empty display case. What is that? Oh, <laughs> just broke it. What? Sanctum enforcers. All right. Wow, these guys are serious. That's one down, and that's two. GG. One thing I want to try is to figure out how you buy these maps, or I don't know if they're, you could consider them maps. Well, you, could you potentially? Why am I exiting character selection? Don't know, but at least I'll be back here. I'm gonna put this up for one div and see what happens. And probably nothing, cause I'm on DND most of the time. <laughs> Lots of maps, that's why I like to see. The rest can be sold. Yeah, no, these are not worth much. Wait a second, what the hell? This on the other hand, String of Servitude, is the 135% total elemental, elemental resistance, which is kind of crazy actually. Cool, I guess I'm lucky. Okay, so with that in mind, let's try and find a temple on POE trade. Wealth of the Veil, yeah, that's dope. And then Locus of Corruption. Sorry, <laughs> 6.5 divides i don't have that kind of money okay so there's money in make in doing that but so what if i just took that one off if i just just this one 100 chaos orbs all right forget it then so obviously the most lucrative thing to do is have a locus of corruption tier three that's as a room that's like a rule right i mean what what i had wealth of the veil earlier on is that possible to 10 chaos orb for an okay so that's okay we'll go with that what else atlas of worlds i want to visit all these level threes you know they're pretty good 10 still okay i like it i'm just gonna add them on until until I find a price that I'm okay paying for. Doriani. Yeah, let's do it. A hundred. Okay, you just bumped the price up incredibly. Okay, forget it. Let's try and find another one. Apex of Ascension level three. That's kind of crazy. 50. Shall we see if I can make my money back? That might be fun. 50 Chaos Orbs. Do I have that much? Yes. Barely, but yes. All right. They've accepted the invite. I'm about to spend 20, 50 Chaos Orbs <laughs> on one thing. Ah, uh, yes, another microtransaction enjoyer, I see. Anyway, 10, 10, 10, that's 50 right there. Thank you, and I leave. Can be using a personal map device to open portals. All right, let's do it. All these monkeys, man. Afraid you have to die. I can't access the wealth of the veil. Uh, I wasn't paying attention, was I? Oh, that's not fun. All right, well, it's okay. There's still, what was there? Level three, Hall of World, Defend, Apex, Atlas of Worlds. Those are all ones that I want to check out, so let's go. 
So we're in the entrance. Let's go to spar sparing, sparring, sparring room. Oh my God. What is up with all these AOEs? So what's the deal? I'm in the, san oh, I'm in the sanctum of vitality. I had no idea. Okay. Anything cool in here? Also remember I have to make my money back. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be anything. All right, let's move on. Let's go back down. Welcome to the defense research lab. It's a level three room. And so far I found seven scrolls of wisdom. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> oh, there we go. Doing some map, instilling orb. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer here, but there ain't nothing here for me. Hall of War it is. Okay, this is definitely the Hall of War because there's a lot of fighting. Oh my God, these AOEs, what? Cartographer's chisel, open the door. Hello, nope. Okay, well, nothing much here for me. An atlas of the world contains chests full of maps. That I like. Okay, next one is the one I'm excited about. No, not that, this one I've already done, but like the one after that though, ooh, very exciting. So it would make sense that you kind of do this while you're doing maps, a bit like all of this stuff really. You do maps and then you engage with the, the league by creating these temples and potentially then selling the temple on because it's the only way to like double corrupt things. So you would have to do exactly Exactly what I'm doing unless you buy one directly right if you just buy a temple you can go do all these things directly so let's go and sacrifice this amber amulet once again see what happens we got a new amulet of the same rarity increased mana regeneration rate sure okay so that's the apex of ascension done kind of let's clear let's clear some mumps okay that was fine and now the next place is a place there it is here we are this is the atlas of worlds and in here we should find lots of maps which i am all for because i need a bunch dusty charts okay cool two maps oh this architect should drop some map stuff also well 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 oh oh whoa, whoa, whoa. so there is a chance for some cool stuff so superior iceberg map these are level four oh 16 okay and then we have some uh sextants which can be added to, uh, used to add or reroll a modifier on a void stone and that would be that i think okay so what else we got well that was that we can't actually get to the boss room because it's closed and we can't even get to the apex apex because it's closed uh not not the apex sorry the um, wealth of the veil oh boy do you think we made our 50 oh this is guy well this is worth five chaos that's not too bad superior canyon map sextants are worth 1.5 each some wood maps i mean maybe uh, potentially <laughs> potentially some stuff here is worth uh, we probably made about 30 i'd say 30 chaos orbs it's not the end of the world but jeez i definitely enjoyed it i enjoyed the complexity of it i enjoyed it in, in, like discovering it oh this is dope can i like do something about this without clicking on it leave me alone i wonder if there's any if, is there anything that i missed here stash guild stash in terms of you know what i'm trying to be doing here relic locker no no doesn't seem like it so incursions in your map have 33 percent chance for all monsters to be at least magic cool that's what we were doing right incursions in your map contain a veil flesh merchant let me do a quick google search on this guy like what is the maybe it's because i haven't really done anything you know with veil i don't really know too much about it okay a veil flesh merchant is a unique veil wraith that always spawns inside of temporal incursions slaying it will drop a few stacks of currency typically or of transmutation and similar which will drop around alva when the incursion is exited right okay uh rarely we can also he can also drop a divination card cool okay so there is some stuff there so having the veil flesh merchant is good just for the currency but otherwise it seems like every room has something quite specific to it which is fun let's do some pros and cons so pros again it's very unique uh, i'm always surprised by the way ggg reinvents the arpg mechanics and this one was so smart it's also very thematic right you've got this um time travel mechanism which is really interesting. So you're going back in time to change the way a temple is connected to then in the present, go discover that temple. And based on what you've done in the past, the temple changes, right? I love the diversity that they've implemented in this mechanic. Uh, the fact that every room has something quite unique to it uh, is really fun. I wasn't able to play around with the double corruption because I wasn't able to craft it. But I also really like the fact that you are crafting this temple. That's really fun. Um, yeah, we need more stuff like that. It's so interesting and so impressive. I Alva, also really good, has got some great voice acting, has got a lot of lore if that's what you're into. And yeah, I think it was just a good time. Any cons? Well... I don't know, as I said, if the juice is worth the squeeze, uh, is the effort worth it in terms of money making or are there other ways to make money faster? Probably, but maybe this is one of your favorite league mechanics and you just want to replay it again. And I think there's something powerful in that, being able to choose what mechanic you want to engage in while also making money. It's fun. I think I'm going to stick with this one for a bit. It's not my favorite. I think light is still the most unique in my opinion and also expedition is might still be one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy it's here. I'm really 
happier people are able to connect with it. I real I'm realizing that I need to learn more about crafting because uh, I feel like the game can be really divided in the middle between the exploration, the maps, and all that, and the passive tree. And on the other side, you've got all the really complicated crafting. And I really need to learn more about it. The suffix, the prefix, the additive. Sometimes there's so much to look into. It's overwhelming. It really is. But in any case, I think it's um, overall an amazing testament to the imagination and the resourcefulness of GGG. And if this is anything we can look forward to in Path of XL2, then fantastic. Can't not wait. All right. Thank you so much, guys, once again for hanging out with me today. If you want to support me, YouTube membership is always really good. Or just come on Discord. Come and have a chat. Like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Leave a comment telling me what you think of this league mechanic. I feel like a lot of you have a really specific attachment to a specific league. Does anybody really like this league mechanic? Tell me all about it in the comments. I'll be hanging out there with you guys. Anyway, thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one.